All right, we can totally hear the engine is much more louder than before. Now let's take a test drive. All right, get down. let's go. So overall, it feels more responsive. The gear shift is faster and uh, you can definitely hear the engine from the cabin. I guess everybody says loud is better, so I guess that's a good thing. These are the tools I use for this project. 10mm, 10mm, the special valve adjustment tool for Honda. 19mm, this is for take out the spark plug. The filler gauge already marked, intake and exhaust. Flathead screwdriver, a pry tool, a tray for the bolts. Step one, take out the two 10mm here and here. Lift this up. Put it aside, take out the two bolts here and the two at the behind and lift this up. Once the bolts are out, you can lift a little bit, press here and uh, pull out the connector. Next one, take out the spark plug. Uh, it should use a 16mm socket and I'm using the long one because the short one won't reach it. The way to do it is to drop the tool into the holes and turn. Once you don't feel the resistance, you can lift up. All right, here we go. Also, it's a good time to check your spark plug, see if you need to replace it. Next step, remove this hose here. You're gonna need a, I call mother of all pliers to remove the clamp and take out the hose. After that, two 10mm, one here and one here. Next step, more 10 mm, six, six of them actually. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Also a good idea to put a stick away. Also you need to take out all six of this. And also it's a good time to check the other side, the rubber. Oh, this one's this one's hard and the, like a rock. I need to replace all this. In the gasket I bought, they come with this thing, so I'll just replace them. All right, one last thing I'm um, here. Okay, now everything's clear. We can uh, use a pry tool to pry at this corner. Once it loose, we can lift the entire cover straight up. Well, this is my engine. Looks pretty good. This is my cover, pretty good, pretty clean also. My gasket is pretty good too, it's, uh, oh, you can feel it, yeah, you can feel it, pretty uh, elastic. And but since I'm replacing that, so I'm gonna replace this one also. Well, actually I found something, you can see here and here and here. Also this one, the wear and tear is different. This one seems to be worn more. Uh, if you know what this means, please uh, leave in the comment section. Now we can put a 19mm on the power steering pump, the, the big bolt here, and turn clockwise. You can see this thing's turning. And what we want is, let me put another hand. Oops. What we want is the top of the loop aligned with the uh, arrow here. We have arrows of uh, each cylinder. Yeah. Once the loop is in position, we can adjust one, two, three, four. This four. This is my intake 0 0.08, and uh, my exhaust I'm using 0 0.012. This is how it works. Let me zoom in for you. I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, this is how it works. I use a screwdriver to demonstrate. This threaded rod, all right, so when it turns, it goes up and down. It goes up and down. Let's, let me loosen it. When I loosen it, you can see I can lift this thing. Okay, let me show you. I can lift this whole thing up and down. But when I tighten it, it will move, it will move. So we want a gap 
to be 0 0.008 so we need to lose this to the proper opening here the proper opening and use the lock nut to lock this position so when you do the gauging you need to lift this thing uh, loosen it a lot to see the difference so it's maybe it's got maybe make it easier for you all right you lift the whole thing all the way then fill your gauge to fill the gap you have to lift it if you do it this way there's no way your gauge can can go in this is my best practice step one loosen the lock nut and step two make sure these things lift up so you have a gap step three put your filler gauge in and step four step four if it's too tight if it's too too tight, you just loosen the threaded rod. If it's too loose, you just tighten it down. And the sweet spot is that uh, the filler gauge can slide with a minimal drag. Once you set the threaded rod location like this, then tighten the lock nut. Once you've done the four valves on cylinder one, then you go to three, then four, then two. So mines are all done. My experience that be patient with uh, cylinder wine. It took me half an hour to do this one alone, but once I get a hang of it, I done the rest of three in 20 minutes. Before we put everything back, it's a good idea to wipe this surface. And also get rid of the Honda bond, the old Honda bond at here, 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 and here, because we're gonna put in the old bond. All right, everything's back in. I'm trying to warm up the engine. I can hear the sound is significantly louder than before, but everybody says this is good. So I guess this is good. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you like it.